Hi guys, welcome back to Money Monday. Now, if you are wondering where is that old savings account that you opened up when you were really little and diligently deposited your pocket money into, or wondering whatever happened to those shares that like maybe a grandparent bought you when you were born, well, you could potentially be onto something. Apparently there is 77 billion pounds worth of unclaimed money held around the world by various governments. Now 77 billion pounds is over 150 billion Australian dollars, which is a huge amount of money sitting in the government's bank accounts that potentially belongs to you. So you might be wondering where has all this money come from? And it's come from a variety of different sources. It's old savings accounts that the, where the bank has lost your contact details um, or they haven't been updated. It's old dividends that weren't presented. It's old wound up investments, um, tax refunds, a variety of different things. Now you might be wondering how on earth there is so much money that is unclaimed out there. But it's actually quite easily done because you, if you've moved around a lot or maybe moved overseas and not updated your contact details, this happens really easily. And I actually discovered this for myself. Now, I'm normally really meticulous with my money. Um, I like to know where it is, I like to know where it's invested, and I like to know that it's growing in the right direction and working for my personal financial goals. But recently, I was invited to go on Today Extra, which is Channel 7's sort of daytime TV. And they asked me to talk about ASIC coming out and announcing that they have 1.2 billion Australian dollars sitting in unclaimed money that they're trying to find the rightful owners for. Now, in researching this story, I thought I would have a go at myself at seeing if I had any unclaimed money. And I actually remember doing this a few years ago and nothing coming up. So I wasn't, I didn't really have any high expectations of finding any unclaimed money. However, I was pleasantly surprised. I found I was owed over $820, which was a really great bit of news to hear for the day. And what's even better is it's actually really easy to find out whether you're owed any money. I'm going to make sure I include all the links in the description box below. But it's a matter of if you find some money, completing the forms, which I've done here. And my next step is to get my um, ID certified by a JP. Then it takes 28 days once you've posted this and they've received it. 28 days for ASIC to review your application and refund your money. So I am so excited and my $820 is going straight into the $1,000 project which I'll give you an update in just a second. So if you're based in countries outside of Australia you don't need to worry this is actually available for you as well. I'm going to include the government links for searching in the UK and in the US. Now obviously with different countries they have different policies and procedures in returning your money and doing the search but from what I can see it looks really easy and simple to follow. But my one word of caution is be very careful of scams. Make sure you do your due diligence and use the recommended websites. It should be backed by the government and should have a fairly stringent process in qualifying who you are so that they know you are rightfully entitled to that money. Be very careful with giving out private financial information. So if you are lucky enough to discover that you are entitled to some of that unclaimed money, you can use this situation to your financial advantage. Some ideas for you is you could use that money to pay down debt. You could also start investing or maybe even establish a savings account for emergency use. Or what I'm going to be doing is putting my money in the $1,000 project. Now, if you've been checking the Sugar Mama website under the $1,000 project, you'll see that I've invested over $23,000 so far. And that is money that has not come out of my savings or my salary. It's money that I have created, saved or manifest outside of my earnings. I've done things like sell things on eBay, Gumtree, I've taken on extra projects for work, I even rented my house out on Airbnb. I've done so many weird and wonderful things to help raise this money and I'm determined to have the portfolio generating a passive income of $2,000 a year by the end of July. So this money coming from ASIC is really going to help. Now that's it for Money Monday. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you go and do a search for yourself and find out if you are entitled to any of the 77 billion pounds that's unclaimed around the world. And if you find anything, let me know. Put a comment in the description box below. I'd love to hear. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel so that you're always notified whenever I post a video. And I will see you later on the week for Lifestyle Love. And don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram at sugarmama.tv. Ciao for now. Bye.